Hi guys, I believe everyone has saw the news. Thank you guys for staying with me and showing our love and support under this tough situation. I will stay firm and hope to regain my rights to play competitively for the nation again. First of all, we already accepted my resignation last year on September 2021 and there's no objection at all for so long. And why only now there's an issue? Secondly, why do I able to register in India Open which held on last month just because I have given my respect to the national body so that I agreed them to pull my name out from this tournament first before I sit down with the management to discuss and let them know my plan. I'm giving full respect to the national body so why do I manage to register beforehand? It means that actually I have the rights to play and I'm not breaching any of the policy. Thirdly, refuse to help me register in any international tournaments for two years. And effectively, you are banning me. If you refuse to register me, I cannot play internationally. And it's affecting my livelihood. Edmonton is the only skill set I know. And it's my job. How am I going to survive then? Also, based on my health history and condition, I couldn't give 100% of full commitment and stand rigorous training regime. Everyone, including my ex teammates, coaches, management in the national team, they all knew that I want to train and play at my own pace and monitor my health condition at the same time. No one knows how much the side effect from the medication I vary daily except myself and my family. But still, I will strive at my very best to pursue my dream. I'm sure that I still can bring glory to Malaysia again. So, I really don't know what have I done wrong that actually causing me now to be banned from international tournaments for two years despite I'm giving my best effort all the time to serve Malaysia. So, that's all of it and uh, thank you guys for the support and love given. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you guys.